while I was in Israel, Harley contacted me and told me that my bike, the Lowrider ST, is, uh, is at their dealership. Got into the house just now, and look what I have. Some miles put on it, so he's gonna do it for me. Gonna go, I'll ride. Ta da! Hey guys, good morning, welcome back. I'm in the car on the way to Harley. I just landed. It was nice actually. I spent a day and a half in Israel, spent uh, time with my daughter with Sean, had a great time with her. Then I had a night flight back here. What was nice about it is I actually flew with a friend that we, we've been friends since 15 years old. He became a pilot, I was a pilot later on. So we haven't flown together in, for quite a while. We worked for the same airline, so it was fun. Night flight, whatever footage I could have gotten, I got for you guys, so. Jerusalem of gold. Well, and so another trip uh, begins. This time what's interesting is I'm flying with a friend that I know since he was 12 years old. He's the pilot. We're gonna both be on that flight together. And so our journey begins. Eitan and myself are gonna be taking off. It's gonna be fun. I haven't seen him in a, for a year now. We grew up together. He became a pilot, I became a pilot. Really cool. Part of the preparations for, for the uh, takeoff, we programmed the computers. Those are the flight management computers. They, they run the flights, uh, all the navigation for us. That's a load sheet. Every flight, it's a different loading different amount of uh, passengers, different uh, amount of uh, luggage, different weight. So it's calculated for every flight and we get that and put it into our computers. And then we run the software and it tells us how much engine we need to use, how much power we need to use on takeoff. Obviously you can use full power, but you want to save uh, want to save fuel. So you only use the amount of power you need. Now he's talking to the passengers. That's the moon. That's an airplane right near us. You can see because we're very north, you can actually see the halo, the, the light coming from uh, the sun. And that's me very, very tired right now. Okay, I'm gonna do, be doing the landing, can't take uh, much footage, much video. Peace, talk to you later when I'm on the ground. I just got home, I just literally just got home, just got into the house just now. And look what I have, my height. Another, another surprise, another gift. Anyway, so I just landed now. I didn't get much sleep during the flight. I did both takeoff and landing, and I had about an hour and a half rest and then another two hour rest. The truth is the first hour and a half when I was supposed to rest, I simply wasn't tired. The last rest that I was supposed to take, two hour rest, I was too excited. I was literally anticipating, waiting since I heard that while I was in Israel, Harley contacted me and told me that my bike, the Lowrider ST, is, uh, is at their dealership. And the whole time I was thinking, I just like, I was like a kid in a candy candy store, I just couldn't focus, I just couldn't fall asleep. So, very tired, gonna go now to Harley and 
look at my bike. Okay, now I'll put a little sound of disappointment. Well, they called me in to see they only have the black one. Nice of them. They wanted me to sit on it and feel it and get it and enjoy it a little bit, but the gray one is it in. I have to wait a few more days. Pico being really, really <laughs> into stuff. So that's what friends are for. My buddy Aton, the pilot that we flew together over here, came over to visit. Hasn't been in my house for, for the longest time. I'm letting him have uh, the Warthog. He's gonna take it for a ride. I let him try uh, my other bikes. I think it's best for him to go on uh, Warthog today. Put some miles on it. I need some miles put on it, so he's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna go uh, ride by uh, North New Jersey on the border with New York. So I'm really gonna enjoy it, hopefully. Putting, uh, I sent him to Ringwood Lake, which is really cool, a cool area. He's gonna have some fun on Warthog over here. Hey, you mean up? Have fun. Have fun, buddy. Bye, amigo. Bye. That's nice. We'll have a nice day out. Have some things to do in the house. Let him have some fun. Why not? When I'm away, my wife uh, puts the boxes in the in the living room. So this is going into the garage. Now for the big one. It's not really heavy. It's just huge and bulky. Okay, it's not really an unboxing. It's just gonna be a, I'm not gonna take it out of the box and see what we got here. I'm not gonna be installing it today. I don't have, I don't know, we'll see. That is very cool. Thank you, Advan Black. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you so much. Gonna install it very soon. Have a nice video about it. As always, the packing is really, really good. Really good. So this is obviously my backrest. I took this color, this uh, stitching backrest because I think they still don't have, they're working on it, but they still don't have yeah, the Raptor. Yeah, the Raptor design with the uh, the stitching, the ostrich, the ostrich leather and the stitching. So I took this generic. Now let's see what we have in this big box. Ta-da! My tour pack. I was hoping to get this uh, before I went to Daytona. It would really be nice if I had it before Daytona, but better to have it late than never. So I took it in uh, obviously vivid black, and this is definitely vivid black. Chrome hardware. That's very cool. The King tour pack? Yeah, it's the biggest, sorry. The biggest uh, tour pack. Pretty much this is my first uh, actually tour pack. Never had a tour pack. As you know, this is my first Harley anyway. And when I was uh, trying to figure out which tour pack I want to go with, they have the three uh, three different sizes. They have the King, they have the Chop, which is smaller, and they have the Razor. I wanted one that would, you know, I don't use it on a regular basis, so might as well, when I am using the tour pack, might as well have the biggest one that would actually fill a full-size helmet. So I opted in to get the King tour pack. That's what I got. My neighbor, well, let's see what we have inside. It's a nice latch. Ooh. And the box of goodies keeps giving. Oh, it's got this like strap. It's nice and thick. A nice seal all around. Okay, let's see what we got here. Here we got more wrapping material. The stickers. This is, this is the actual, the metal plate, the metal plate to connect to the rack 
Oh, you know what? I don't have a mounting rack. Just so I realized that. I don't I didn't see any mounting rack in my boxes. And that is the metal plate that will go over here. So what I'm pretty much missing is the rack. Let's see if the other boxes have them. Very cool. We're gonna install it next week because I think I'm still missing the chrome rack, chrome mounting rack. What else did I get? I got, and these are all gonna be separate videos. The Reaper, I opened it up already. This is the Reaper LED Tour Pack Light. I'll have an install video about that. I've seen a few videos online. Looks really, really nice. Shouldn't be too complicated. And in this box right here, I have the liner for the tour pack itself. So I'm just gonna call them up now and tell them that I'm just missing, I'm still missing the rack, the mounting rack, the connecting element between the tour pack and the docking hardware. So guys, we still have a few more videos on Blackbird. I wanna install the tour pack and the tour pack LED lighting in the back. Still waiting on, uh, for the rest of the parts. So Blackbird is staying for now. Should be getting the bike. Actually, I was supposed to, I was supposed to have the bike a few days ago, but it hardly got the, the delivery for the black lowrider ST. So I'm still, you know, biting my nails every day. When am I gonna get that phone call from them for my uh, gunship gray lowrider ST? We'll visit John. Say hello. We'll take uh, the 2015 Sportster. I'll go drink some coffee with uh, John. Why am I uh, using the 2015 Sportster? Because I'm trying to push it. I want you guys to go and there's a raffle. This bike is being raffled. All you need to go is to my website at uh, www.holyshift.us and just get yourself entered. Anything you buy on that website has uh, immediate entries. Even if you buy a $10 sticker, you get uh, an entry into the raffle and the raffle is going to be in two months. So head over there and uh, get yourself entered. I'm gonna say hello to John now. Look at all, it's got only 20, I don't know, 2,500 miles on it. I'm the first, I'm the second owner. A beautiful Iron 883.
That's a guy who's gonna go grab my coffee because it's getting cold already. Hope you enjoyed this video. And he's back. He's back. A great day, I guess he had. Where'd you go? Great. Day. Where'd you go? All over? You were like away for five hours. Five hours. Two spots that we. Uh... Oh, that's cool. He was away for five hours. That's cool. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed yeah. yourself, man. And I uh, refueled it. But With diesel, uh, diesel, right? Diesel, but there, there was no supreme diesel. Or <laughs> super, super.